Eighty years ago, then-Governor Gifford Pinchot said the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board was there to discourage the purchase of alcoholic beverages by making it as inconvenient and expensive as possible. I believe that government should be dealing with public education, making sure people have a good education, making sure that uh, we keep criminals off the street and keep people safe. Uh, so it's really a question about the role of government. And we're one of only two states left. Uh, Utah is the other one uh, where we have our our government uh, still having a hand in and running the liquor store business and selling wine and spirits. By passing House Bill 790, the House of Representatives hopes to sweep out the old system and begin a new era of increased convenience and lower prices, championing the free market while strictly enforcing the laws that help prevent illegal abuse of alcohol. In brief, House Bill 790 creates one-stop shopping outlets where consumers can purchase beer, wine, and spirits doubles the number of wine and spirits outlets, allows beer distributors to sell six-packs, 12-packs, and 64-ounce containers known as growlers. The legislation also addresses the concerns of certain groups impacted by the transition to private alcohol sales. For instance, displaced state store employees will find plenty of career opportunities because under privatization, the number of sales outlets will expand dramatically. State store employees also will be offered preferences for other available state jobs and financial incentives to further their education. House Bill 790 leaves the Liquor Control Board intact and allows it to concentrate its efforts on regulation of the private outlets and strict enforcement of our liquor laws, especially those prohibiting sales to minors. Public support may be the most compelling reason of all to justify privatization. A recent poll conducted by the Commonwealth Foundation revealed that 61% of Pennsylvania citizens and 77% of those who currently shop at state stores favor privatization. The restrictions for a private owner uh, who sells to someone underage, they're very, very high. It's on the second time you would immediately lose that license. Uh, so that's, I mean, that's a huge restriction right there. And people were worried about drinking and driving and having increased access. Uh, but there is a limit on the number of liquor stores that we are going to have in Pennsylvania regardless. Governor Corbett has already indicated his support for House Bill 790, but before he can sign it into law, it must first pass the Pennsylvania Senate.